There's a good lad. There's a good boy. Two her out. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Two her out. And walk. Right, well this is Kirsty. And this is a horse fella. And Kirsty this year wants to start competing in a little bit of showing and dressage. So today we're going to work on a lunge lesson to help improve her position and also the depth of her seat. And also I'll just add that Kirsty is in fact not long recovering from a broken ankle on her right leg. So there is a bit of stiffness in that leg which we'll try and accommodate in the lesson. Okay, if you're ready Kirsty, mm -hmm. we'll stop. Good boy. So we'll start off with your stirrups, Kirsty, just so you can get comfortable, okay, just for the first five minutes. So while you're just walking there, just think about your position overall. Try and position yourself in the deepest part of the saddle. Sitting nearer the pommel, if anything, rather than at the back of the saddle. Okay. Just let the knee and thigh be relaxed so the weight just falls down the back of the leg. Don't turn your toes towards me, just keep your toe more aligned to the front, that's good. Stretching up tall through the upper body, lift the chin. Keep the thumbs on top of the rein. Again, just watch for that heel creeping back with the lower leg. That's better. Okay, so we'll just work within a few transitions between walk and trot just to get you loosened up then. Okay, so I still want you to do the work as far as asking him for the transition, yeah? So let's shorten your reins before we start. You've got more of a contact because he has warmed up. Again, just watch for that lower leg creeping back. So when you're ready, we'll ask for the tra upward transition into trot. Just close the leg on, off, and away we go. Okay. And just concentrating on finding a rhythm being relaxed. That's nice. Just let the rising maybe a little bit softer, so your hips just softly, that's better, good. And remember, because we're working on a circle, you want your body to mirror his body, so your hips and your shoulders are aligned with his hips and shoulders. That's good, that's a nice rhythm, good. Okay, so before we make the transition into walk, I want you to think about what you're gonna do to get that transition. We want as least hand as we can get, so hardly any hand at all. More about just using your upper body to sit up and just bracing your body against him. So when you're ready, we'll have a transition to walk. Good. So downward transition. Stay tall in your upper body. Remember, it's your upper body what will bring him back as well. It's not just the hand. Okay, and upward transition again. So softly with the leg, stay tall. Good, much smoother, good. So just in walk then, let's think again about drawing the upper body tall. Okay, now the lower leg, the whole of the leg at this point, Kirsty, is too far forward, yeah? So lift back from the hip if you can. That's better. And stretch down, really feel that your legs, that's good. That's much better. Okay, chin up. That's much better, it probably feels a little bit alien but that's, that's really nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna just work a little bit in trot. And again, you can ask for the upward transition and then when it's time to come down, I'll bring him back down. We're not gonna have the trot too quick, okay? We want the trot a little bit slow, if anything, so it's easier for you to sit to and more comfortable, yeah? So just close your leg and just ask for the transition, but just quietly. Good boy. Okay, good boy. To rot. So try and just, the hand which is holding on, try and just use the fingers, that's good, yeah. And feel almost like the horse is moving up to meet you. Lift your chin. Good boy. So, thinking about the transition into canter then. Remember, if you tip at any point, that will load up his inside shoulder, yeah? And that will not encourage him to go on the right lead. So, really staying as tall as you can in the upper body. You can sink a little bit more weight into your inside heel, but no tipping of the upper body, yeah? That's good. 
All right, when you're ready. So we'll do a full circle in trot just to establish the rhythm. Now your reins are too long, so just shorten them a little bit. Okay, and whenever you're ready, you can take sit and trot and ask for the transition. That's good. Remember to allow with the hands to follow the movement of his head. And when you're ready, we'll come back down again. Stay tall. Good. That wasn't bad at all. Good. 